In this demo, we'll walk through the entire AutoML workflow for object detection. All the steps are run from the Jupyter Notebook. Here are all the steps for AutoML from taking in the model to training and then comparing the model. So let's set up some requirements. Provide your IP address and port. This is the IP address and port of where you have your API server. Provide your NGC API key. And you'll use this to authenticate with your API server. Next, authenticate. And next, let's create the data set. We'll use a training data set and evaluation data set. Uh, for the purpose of this demo, we already created the data set. These are all in kitty format. And uh, we will upload this data set to our API server. Next, let's uh, create our uh, data set objects. So we'll create first for the training data set. Next, let's update the name. Uh, let's provide a, uh, a diff different name so that you can uh, differentiate your data sets. So let's uh, add a demo. Next, we'll go and upload our data set to this uh, data set object. Let's repeat the same for the evaluation data set as well. Let's, here are the data set that we created. We have a training data set and an evaluation data set. Next, we'll run dataset convert to convert the dataset to TF records for training. So let's get the default spec schema. We'll update a couple of uh, hyperparameters. We'll change the image extension to JPEG. Let's uh, update the specs and uh, run uh, dataset convert. And you can monitor the progress of this job by running uh, this cell. And once this completes, you'll get a list of all the different uh, classes in your data set. So you have, there's four classes in this data set. All right, so now let's repeat the same for the evaluation data set. All right, now let's go and create our model. And for this demo, we'll use a YOLO v4 model. You can also get a list of all the models that you currently have. Uh, it will sort it out based on model ID. Now let's assign our training and evaluation data set to, the, to this particular model. Use the data set uh, IDs that you created in the earlier step. Now let's assign pre-trained rates. Uh, for this demo, we'll use uh, ResNet 18. Next, let's set hyperparameters. Let's first view all the de default hyperparameters for AutoML. These are the default parameters that uh, comes for this particular model. Now let's view all the default hyperparameters for this model. Here you can see the augmentation config. You, the dataset config shows all the class mapping. We have four classes. We'll go and change this, uh, reduce the number of classes uh, in the next step. Now let's set the hyperparameters for AutoML. We'll choose the Bayesian algorithm for this uh, demo. If you want to add or remove hyperparameters uh, from the sweep, you can also do that here. Now let's update the AutoML configs. All right, now let's uh, kick off our training job. Before we do that, we'll update the default specs. We'll change the epochs to 80. Uh, we'll also change the classes from four classes to two classes. We'll go with the cone and a for forklift class for this de demo. We also need to uh, change the image extension to JPEG. So now let's uh, update the specs and kick off our training runs. Oh, before we do that, you. Uh, you can see that we have updated our class mapping to just two classes. All right, now let's kick off our training runs. And uh, you can monitor the progress of this run by running the, uh, the command here. And here you can see that our training runs have started. And depending on the GPU, this can take anywhere from few hours to days. So 
hours completed in five hours and the best accuracy we got was 0.89. Now let's evaluate uh, the best model. So first download all the metadata from the runs and uh, let's run this cell which will print out all the different runs. This table shows the accuracy results for all 20 runs along with the hyperparameter values for each of the runs. Our best model was run number 17. You can view this run in more details by going to the experiment directory. Here, if you open up the training log.csv, it shows the loss, the average precision of each classes and the mean average precision. You can go to the best model directory and download the best model.